most famous physical therapist on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Because we have the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, we Bob. We mean business today. Today we're going to tell you how to use a massage gun for forearm, wrist, and hand pain. This is good for overuse syndrome. If you're a gamer or you use your computer a lot, you're using those hand and wrist muscles a ton. Golfer's so, elbow. Golfer's uh, tennis elbow. Sure. Uh, we, uh, for all these. So... For, for all this, it's really important to understand that many of the muscles of the hand and wrist actually come in the forearm. They start in the forearm. You don't need to know the names, but we're going to point out some here. These are the front of the forearm. If you, if you have the palm facing forward, look at all those muscles that come down, and then look how they extend into the hand here with the tendons. Yeah. So they're what is moving the finger. Yeah, and you can you can you know see that actually or feel it. You know when you do this, the muscles here are the ones that are are very uh, palpable. Right, and like you said, you can see it. And now the same thing is on the other side. Now let's say you put the palm or the back of the hand forward. That's the extensor muscles, and look at all of those muscles here. So you know we got lots of muscles that have to be massaged in order to take away pain from the wrist and hand. Right, right. So, and we'll, plus, we'll, we'll also get into the hand. Well, I mean, you can see these are uh, some of the muscles of the thumb and uh, the, the senior eminence and the hypothenar yeah. eminence. I think uh, we just call those the intrinsic muscles of the hand, the smaller ones. Yep, um, and, and they can be massaged, oh too. Oh, yeah, and actually it feels good. So why don't we first start off, Brad, uh, going on, let's say, some of the, the, the flexor muscles here. And the extensor muscles, why don't we, I, I think there's really two good uh, ones for that is one, it would be the air filled. Head. Right. So we're talking about the head itself. It actually is cushy. I've got all air in it and it's uh, not so aggressive. It's a nice option. We use a lot. Why don't you start showing that? I'm going to grab a pointer one too, yeah. because uh, the pointer would be good for uh, trigger points. Sure. Or for... Uh, Knots, as, as the layperson calls right. it. Right. So, again, the, the muscles are here. The tendons go up to the fingers here. But they also connect back in here when you have, oops, look at that. We're, we're getting used to our new equipment here, uh, where they connect to the epicondylitis or uh, so. Epiconda. Yeah, epicon yeah I'm sorry. <laughs> but here we go. I'm demonstrating if you can see that. Um, and usually you stay over the muscle belly. You're, you're not going to go up on the wrist probably. Uh, you got that nerve, the median nerve running through there. It's pretty superficial, so we're going to stay away yeah, from that. I don't see it on the diagram here, but uh, yeah. And you can go across mm. the fibers. So you can go across like this, back and forth this way, or you can also go the length of the fibers. Yep. Either one will work. Ooh. In different areas. So now he's doing the extensor muscles. Now, if he does find a spot that is a, a trigger point, mm -hmm. which is quite often you'll find like one right about yep, there. Yep, exactly. It, then you might try the pointer on. I think this might be this one, Brad. I don't know if they're. Do they have oh, the yes. same ones? Oh, yes. Yep, there is definitely a, a pointer on this one. Okay. All right. So I'm going to. I got the pointer one now. So with that, when I hit hit the spot, if I find a trigger point, I'm actually going to relax the arm, and I'm going to find that spot, and I'm going to actually hold it right over to that spot. Boy, I can feel that, Brad. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, yeah I'm, so here we got the same thing for the yeah. smaller gun. So I'm just holding it right on there, Brad. Oh, yeah. It, you can vary the intensity also by the angle. Sure. You can go like this and, sure. and decrease it. but Whatever works for you. It's one of those things where, you know, if it hurts, it should hurt so oh, good. good. And that's what it is doing we, for we me. We don't want to get that sharp pain where it makes you yeah. wince. That means you're getting too aggressive. Back off. Go away from it and kind of work up to that knot or that trigger point, if you now, Ideally, you want the muscle on slack, right, Brad? If sure. If you do strain, counter strain. Right. Uh, but so you'd want the wrist up like this. Well, yeah, but you wouldn't want to hold it because no, you wouldn't want to hold it up. You'd want to support it with a pillow, maybe or something. Exactly. Like that. So there, yeah, just throw that that little uh, throw pillow over there. 
It's a throw pillow. <laughs> yeah, see? Look at that. Yeah, so, you know, you put it so the wrist is up. Whatever, you, you want that wrist relaxed. Or here. You want the forearm relaxed. Yeah, just to get the whole arm in a relaxed position, sure. whether we're doing this or this. Um, All right, so that. that these are fun treatments, Bob. Yeah, they are. They, they are. And, and if, you know, again, this is something you can do a couple times a day, and it's a treat, and you can actually do it during a break, um, and it, it'll. Let your arms be ready for the next part of the sure. day. Do we want to talk about the intrinsic muscles of the hand? Yeah, yet? sure. Go ahead. Jump into that. So this is actually the smaller one. The pointer one is actually a darn good one for uh, uh, getting into the, the muscles. As a matter of fact, I did a video on the muscle for the thumb that makes it go like this and go like this. You can see the thumb muscles yep. right there. Yep. And that is, you know, that's probably the biggest muscle in the whole palm of the yes. hand right there. And then over here we got one too. But this one, you know, the thumb is doing a lot of work. Yes, it is. Uh, so that's typically probably one of the main ones. If that's too aggressive for you, you can put the air filled sure. one on there. Yep. And the air filled, you can actually take that bread all the way through the hand. Right. You can even go through the fingers. I mean, Ooh. Now, it will not work on the back of your hand, these things, because <laughs> there's just not enough skin. Well, there's no muscle, muscle there, there anyway. Right. It's all tendon and bone. and it, I mean, the air one, you could do there, but it's not going to do any it, good. It doesn't feel good. No, even. it's... Again, you're right in this area. Be careful, because there is that median, median nerve. nerve. It's pretty close to the top, too, so uh, we're not going to hit that. Yeah, this is definitely... Doesn't uh, that feel good? Mm-hmm, yeah. You go up into the fingers. Sure. So. I'm going to go right on this pillow. Give it some support. You can do each in individual finger. All right. While you're having fun, Brad, I'm going to show <laughs> uh, for a specific problem here now. Some of you may get what is called Deeker Veins uh, Tenosynovitis. That's and a mouthful. That's a mouthful. Let me, uh, let's me let get rid of some of this stuff here, and I can uh, show you what I mean. I, I was just going to mention, we do have this the handheld massage, which is not quite as aggressive. And if someone's older or they're a little, th you know, a little thinner, or they have more sensitive hands, you know, this one may be a good one. It's a little cheaper too. It's got different heads as well. Now you can see here, this is actually the thumb. And these are two muscles that come down and, and they form what is called the anatomical snuff box. Those are the ones close to the thumb. Right there. There's there's one there, but there's oh, two Oh, you've there's got two a here. good snuff box. Yeah. Wow. Mike, see that okay? So it's very common with overuse syndrome to overuse these tendons. Mm -hmm. They get quite sore. Now you can take the, do you want to show the ball one, Brad? And how you go sideways on oh, it? Oh yeah, that's a, for the cross friction. For the cross friction, yep. right. Oops. So he's gonna go right across these tendons as they hit right here. They come together, and uh, he's going to uh, apl apply some massage oh, to that. I could use a small. Yeah, yeah, we're going to go like this. So he not used, like yeah. this. That's way too aggressive. But you can work it this way. Eh, get my pillow back. Yeah, again, here. you want to be relaxed. Yep. There, that's the ticket right there. Ooh. Get now, it. if that is too much, if if you cannot tolerate that, you can actually start by just doing this. You can actually put your hand right on those tendons, your thumb, I should say, right on the tendons, and just work on going like this, extending it up like this, and it'll sure. ju it's just to start. And that's uh, uh, it's kind of like that, that yeah, flossing yeah, technique where yeah. you put pressure on a tendon and then yep. and work it. Yeah, you showed that before for um, uh, trigger finger, didn't you? Yep, yeah. yeah, we did a very similar technique. You know, it, it's kind of like, you know, all this stuff kind of relates to the whole body, but right, that's but another it, it story. It should be, you know, again, all of these, we don't want increased pain, especially after you've done it a few times. Right. You know, right. if it starts, it, and then it's just too flared up, and we have to back off and maybe ice it. Oh, I don't know if ice is good anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we did a video on that. But um, uh, this video, by the way, is a part of a series of videos on the use of the oh. massage gun for different areas of the body. If you'd like to see the entire series, go to bobandbrad.com. Go Ooh. to the program section. That's right. And look for the one on massage guns, and uh, you'll see a whole list 
of, of, of videos. And you a can whole cornucopia yeah, of are. videos related to massage. Pick out the one that relates to you. If you have problems here, that'll be in the title. Uh, look at the video. There'll be a PDF click. You can click on that. Print out a review of the whole video, the exercises involved, and it'll be on there. You don't have to go back and look at us. And the great thing, it's all for free. No and email. A, and no there's other ones, too, like sciatica and oh, shoulder yeah. and tens. You know, so. You'll see the whole list. We're going to have the whole body pretty yeah, much covered Yeah, we're adding time. to it all the time. That's right. The, the uh, hip one is going to be up next, I believe. Uh, finally done, I think. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, right. we're working on it. It takes Th time. Thanks for watching.